There's plenty happening in Canberra, but we can't go past the Prime Minister's engagement. It looks like the first engagement of a Prime Minister and his partner whilst in office. Let's get some instant reaction now from Independent MP Di Lee. Di, great to see you. Let's start with the happy news. Great to see you too. Yes. Yeah, look, I, su I suppose uh, I saw people congratulating the PM and I would like to congratulate the PM as well uh, and, and, and his, um, you know... Uh, I suppose fiance <laughs> um, on on their news, so it's you know. And did he pop it yesterday, Valentine's Day? He did. If it was, can well, confirm. Well, the there lodge. you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that Valentine's is the happy Day. news, but it doesn't last long in Canberra. We've got to get down to the nitty gritty no. of it all. We spoke to you uh, last week uh, about the reaction of your electorate to the cost of living measures that the government is introducing. What's the reaction like? Uh, a couple of days after. Um, this announcement. You said it was kind of lukewarm in your electorate. What's what's it like now? Is that information filtered through? Look, I mean, I, I did a poll uh, on Instagram and uh, I found that at least, you know, uh, from the handful of people, 20 or so, 20, not 30 people who responded, 67% uh, said, look, it's, it's a good thing, but there's more to be done. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as I've said uh, in Parliament, that really, it's really, it's a mega five dollars a week for people who are earning 521 dollars a week medium wage in Fowler uh, and the rest of Western Sydney are struggling with the rise in petrol prices, rental, soaring rental uh, prices, um, everything else, food prices. So, you know, it's a very small um, kind of, you know, support. Uh, I did ask the government uh, the other day in question time uh, that I acknowledged their, their, their change of minds around stationary tax cuts and I said, what will you do with the excise fuel tax cut? Because that's, I've been asking for that. And, you know, the government's got about $20 billion, almost $20 billion in, the, uh, in their coffer from the excise, fuel excise. Mm. So really, you know, for a short-term, uh, you know, relief for uh, working Australians, not just Fowler and Western Sydney, but for everybody who's still driving petrol fuel cars, that immediate support, we need immediate support. We, we can't wait till 1st of July when the stage, the stage three tax cuts come in. Yeah. So really, what are some of the immediate support that the government needs to provide now? For yeah, you've been pushing this for quite some time, Di. What has been the reaction? Have you had have been able to have private conversations pushing the government on this? Do you look, think it, they're it, open yes, to uh, it? Uh, uh, look, before their... Uh, you know, flipped um, somersault <laughs> on the stage three tax cut. I raised that last year and they said, no, uh, we can't, you know, the budget and it's just not not possible. Mm. Um, I asked the question in Parliament this week about it um, and the government, the Prime Minister kind of evaded the question, didn't answer, just stuck to the stage three tax cuts and stuck to the fact that I acknowledge, you know, that they've made their change of minds and, and didn't focus on basically what they, that, what they were going to do. So mm. I will continue. I, I, I've asked for a meeting with the Treasurer, so hopefully in that meeting I will make a plea uh, for our working Australians in particular and Western Sydney. Yeah. Well, they've also set aside around $40 million to spend on advertising these stage three tax cuts. That's what it is. Uh, technically, it is to inform Australians, but, you know, when you're a year and a bit out from election, it really is advertising. How do you think that'll go down yeah. with your electorate? Look, you know, my, my wonderful, resilient, hardworking electorate <laughs> will just probably, you know, heads down and, and, and kind of bumps up to just continue to work. They work in factories, they're retail workers, they work in construction. Mm -hmm. They don't have really much time, really. They, they really very cynical about politicians' announcements in the first place anyway. I think uh, it's going to be the rubber hitting the road in terms of what immediate relief, cost of living relief, that the government will, will provide, especially with the energy, um, you know, electricity prices. We know that electricity prices will not go down. So what will the government do about that? Yeah. And petrol prices keeps on increasing and has increased over the last 12 months. Okay. So what will the government do about I think the bells are now? ringing for you, Di. You might have to get back to Again? the house for a division. <laughs> yep, go. We'll let you run. Thank you so much, Laura.